Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Part-Time Insane. Ich bin die Mira und ihr seht schon den Startscreen von Discord 2. Dies ist ein kleines Vorwort und zwar ist das hier das Ferienprogramm. Discord 2 ist jetzt das erste LP, das ich mit Laptop aufgenommen habe. Und ja, mit Laptop. Ähm, was anderes steht mir nicht zur Verfügung. Das heißt, hier ist alles noch ein bisschen under construction. Der Ton ist alles andere als perfekt. Die Bildauflösung ist noch nicht ganz super, aber trotzdem will ich euch das nicht vorenthalten. Deswegen halt jetzt auch nur im Urlaub und ohne große Betreuung. Wer Lust hat, schaut rein. Wer keine Lust hat, okay. Aber vielleicht habt ihr ja doch Spaß und ich würde mich freuen, wenn euch das kleine Let's Play über die zwei Wochen hinweg tröstet. Und dann will ich euch nicht länger auf die Folter sparen und viel Spaß! Vegetable. I and mean, it sure does. The, the, possibly a parsnip or a cucumber. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't remember the words. They were really, really. Now I can't remember that either. What's that word for something that's clever and short? Damn. It's, it's, it's like what you make helmets out of. Nah, not tin. I can't say that a phrase of mine was tinny. Ironic, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pithy. That's the word. The thong was really pithy. <laughs> I don't know which thong. What are you going on about songs for? Hey, okay. what was that? Over there, in the donkey cart park. <laughs> no, it was something. Let's go and see. <laughs> no, it's not dangerous. It's the start of the game. They can't kill us off yet. Come on, trust me. <sighs> All I'm gonna do is look. Well, this is a pretty poor job. I think I can dismantle it. Uh. Nearly a catastrophe. <laughs> Don't sweat it, pal. We've got nine minutes and seven seconds left. You know what we could do? We could drive this thing out of here. <laughs> oh, damn. No donkey. Oh, you could pull it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Looks like we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Uh, couldn't be simpler. Oh, I'm thinking we should turn the green flask. What do you think? Maybe the red? Let's turn the green flask then. Uh, just a hunch. Remember the time in the high energy facility when I turned the yellow flask and blew everything up? Right, so I'm turning the red flask then. What? Did I say green? Well, I meant red. Look, we can do it your way if you... Look, I'm sure, OK? You ready? Aren't you going to miss all this stuff when they stop making these games? Aren't you just going to miss it all? I'm turning the flask. There. 
You see? Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Grab the cat, gangway! Take cover! Oops. Mm -hmm. Oh, the animation budget's increased at least. Well, of course that's a good thing. It means they haven't spent as much on plot, doesn't it? They probably halved the number of insane object puzzles for a start. <clears throat> Sorry, I mean clever, natural thinking exercises, of course. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I've been through this sort of thing before. There's a place you're always welcome That's as nice as it can be Everyone can get in Cause it's absolutely free That's death No need to take a breath Just lie around all day With not a single bill to pay Hooray that's death No more sicknesses or flu If you've lived beyond your means You can die beyond them too Boo hoo Well the greatest and the finest mm, Have already died Why not simply join them On the other side That's death Say farewell to all your bills Rip up all your wills And pop your final pills Amen, that's death It's a tater tate with pain If you're not feeling great Then it's the best way to lose weight Mate Nothing here to hurt you no one's here to nag Come die with me If your life's a drag That's death For wealthy and well-bred All of them are here Gentlemen and fellow wizards. Here's looking at your bottom. Well, up your eye. Huh. Pull the other one. It's got strange knobbly bits on. Happy Hogswatch Day. Thank you. Uh, uh, colleagues, we are gathered here today for the final departure party of our dear soon to be departed comrade the wizard Windle Poons Hooray Good old Windle don't forget to go straight three two one zero Wow 
are? Nothing. That's it. I hope. Right, everybody, our funeral at 2.30, then drinks and ham rolls in the main hall at 3. Hiya! Oh, what's happening? Call this service, do you? I'm dead, I am! I demand to be taken away to a better life, as per contract. Oi, things were different in my day. You died properly, not like the deaths you get nowadays. Uh, he, 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 he says he's not dead. I am dead, but I'm still bloody ambulatory. No, you're not. You're fooling no one but yourself, you know. Hmm, well, he, he looks dead. Smells dead, of course. He always did, though. And I suppose my word doesn't count for anything around here. I can't be dead if I'm still talking, now can I? Look, old chap, it's our considered professional view that you are an extinct wizard. Your opinion doesn't count because you're dead. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, I suppose I'll just sit here then, shall I? I suppose it takes a while. So, um, how is death, um, actually? See any, um, white lights, you know, tunnels, girls with harps? Oh, yes, please. I'll take two. No? Uh, if this is heaven, I wish I'd done wicked things when I was alive. What's happening to me? Uh, well, it, it seems that your body's dead, but your soul's still in... Well, in residence. Well, I'm not hanging about here for the rest of my afterlife. I've had a hard life, Arts Chancellor. I'm entitled to a bit of paradise. I've read about it. Young women and wine and whatnot. Look, your life's over. You're not supposed to moan about it. And definitely not supposed to contemplate any... any... Uh, whatnot. Uh, who's responsible for this? Where's death, then? This is outrageous. You, you you can't have a soul hanging about a deceased body like that. Why not? It's unhygienic. Yeah, there's, there's food laid out. We can't have him near the nibbles. The health inspectors will be on to us. Yes, yes, good point. Now compose yourself, Windrow. You can't decompose here. I shall have to ask you to move along. No. Oh comes to something when a man can't even drop stone dead in peace. Eternal rest, eternal rest, is it? Well, I'm not going to take this lying down. I'm off to find myself a nice shallow grave. There's been too much of this sort of thing lately. Rincewind? Rincewind! <sighs> ah, Rincewind. There you are. Now, as you're aware, there have been some very odd goings-on in this city of late. I am referring, of course, to the sudden disappearance of death. Dying? Oh, they're dying, but their souls aren't being taken away. They're dead and alive at the same time, and now it's happened to poor Windrill. Death's gone, and we need to summon him back. So, uh, here you go. We need to perform the rites of Ashkent. I suppose you have a list of mysterious ingredients that I now have to run off and collect. What? How did you know that? I just had a dreadful suspicion. All right, so what have we got to find? Well, it's a rush job, so just the bare minimums will do. We need three equal-sized sticks of wood and four cc's of mouse's blood. It shouldn't take you more than a few minutes. Bet anyone? Um... What is it now? Let's just say that, uh, we needed more than the bare minimums. And not to say that I'm questioning your judgment. 
I'm just, uh, planning for the future, is all. Well, the rest is all just flash and style. This is a death rite, after all. You know the routines. A bit of sparkle and glitter in the air, vile Charles stench erupting from the tomb, and lovely dribbly candles. That sort of thing. None of which we'll need at all. That's right. Just the wood and the mouse's blood. There never seems to be any way of getting a decent moment's rest around this place. One. The right stuff. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Part-Time Insane. Ihr seht, es ist ein kleiner Retro-Flashback. Die Mira hat Lust auf einen Point and Click. Und ähm, warum nicht mit dem Point and Click anfangen, das mich überhaupt dazu gebracht hat, diese Art von Spielen zu lieben? Ähm, es ist ein altes. Game. Ihr habt schon gesehen, es ist, das heißt This World 2 im Deutschen vermutlich vermisst. Wir spielen es in der englischen Originalsynchro, weil das die einzige, die ich gefunden habe, so schnell. Also so schnell, ich war letzte Woche am Suchen. Und zwar, warum ausgerechnet This World 2? Warum fange ich nicht mit This World 1 an? Ähm, dazu muss ich sagen, ähm, ich habe mir schon öfter erwähnt, dass ich nicht so der große Gamer war. Wir hatten früher keine Konsole, wir hatten einen, einen alten Computer, also wir hatten einen Computer, der vergleichsweise alt wurde bei uns, aber sehr liebevoll von uns genutzt wurde. Ich habe halt angefangen als Teenager mit dem Gamen, aber da es nicht mein Computer war, konnte ich halt auch, musste ich halt immer auch auf die, wie soll ich sagen, auf das wohlwollende Gemüt meiner Brüder hoffen. Und mein, mein ältester Bruder hat sich dieses Spiel angeschafft. Er hat es geliebt, weil er auch die die Scheibenwelt liebt, ähm, also die Romane von Terry Pratchett dazu und das Spiel nimmt diesen Humor sofort mit auf, was man jetzt glaube ich schon im Vor, also in der Vorgeschichte im, im Trailer gesehen hat, ähm, es, es veralbert viel mit einem sehr tollen Humor. Ich werde jetzt nicht alles erklären, nicht jeden Witz, also ähm, wenn ihr es nicht versteht, gerne nachfragen oder einfach selber mal den einen oder anderen Scheibenweltroman lesen. Ähm, wie gesagt, er war großer Fan davon, deswegen habe ich es dann auch gespielt. Und ähm, ohne die Scheibenbild überhaupt zu kennen und trotzdem fand ich es unsagbar lustig. Ähm, und wir müssen jetzt den Tod suchen. Tod, einen der beliebtesten Charaktere der Scheibenwelt. Ähm, quasi die Personifikation des, des Sterbens. Und der ist nicht da. Das heißt, niemand kann sterben. Und mal schauen, wir waren in der Dining Hall. Ähm, mit der High End Energy Facility fangen wir nicht an. Die finde ich doch ein bisschen öd. Ähm, machen wir mal ein schnelles Safe Game. Finde ich immer wichtig. Wir lasten, das ist die unsichtbare Universität von Ank Morpok. Und jetzt fange ich doch an zu erklären. Aber die Unsichtbare University. Im Deutschen unsichtbare Universität. Wir haben hier einen Shop. Ein Schöp. Shades, Shades, Shades. Schatten. Plaza. Ich habe es halt immer auf Deutsch gelesen, weswegen ich ab und zu Fools Gilde, die Nachengilde, weswegen ich ab und zu halt noch um, übersetzen muss für mich oder ein bisschen irre unterwegs bin. Hä? Wir haben unseren getreuen Freund Luggage dabei, Truhe, die frisst alles. Ask and... Frag Ente. Ähm... Okay, wir brauchen Mausblut, Glitzer, Stöcke, Kerzen, Smell und dann kommt der Tod. Oh. So, Frau Jester. <lacht> oh, jetzt verstehe ich ihn jetzt erst. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Overcome what? What was that? Fascist? I'm asking just what it is that you want to overcome. Who tied you up like this? 
I've tied myself here, yeah, me, pig. Now try and repress me out of that. You tied yourself up? It's an act demonstrating the freedom, see? Well, it demonstrates my freedom to tie myself to anything I want to, whenever I want to. That's one of your basic human rights, right? And I'll fight to keep a hold of it. You mean you want to fight for the right to lose your freedom? Right on! Don't you want to know what I'm protesting about? I was half hoping to avoid it, but do go on. I'm protesting for the right to have female members of the Fools and Jesters Guild, and I will not be moved. Why are you protesting about it over here in the cemetery? Why don't you go and do it outside the Jesters Guild? They never have anything worth tying yourself to over at that end of town. I like this, though. Quite a nice little stake, if you don't mind my saying so. Not an absolute prime choice, mind, but getting there. Then by all means, be my guest. Excuse me, I, I think it's probably time for me to take my medicine. Um, ihr werdet wahrscheinlich sehr oft von mir blödes Lachen hören, weil ich plötzlich irgendwelche Witze verstehe, die ich damals nicht verstanden habe. Das Spiel kam 1996 raus. Wir haben es natürlich nicht so von 1996 gespielt, weil es hat ja damals immer etwas länger gedauert, bis das über den Teich rüberkam. Ich würde so sagen, ich habe es mit... Ja, wenn ich die anderen Sachen mit 14 gespielt habe, habe ich wahrscheinlich die auch so mit 14 gespielt. 15. Ich habe heute Abend so einige Wortwitze, die ich jetzt später erst verstehe. Manchmal braucht es 15 Jahre. What? Oh, ich wollte ja nur Oh, ich bleibt da stehen, ganz brav hier ist. Gehen wir mal weiter. Noch ein Turmstone. Was ist das? If unattended, please ring bell. <lacht> Wenn jemand da trocken läuft, dann gehen wir doch mal da rein. Da schön, wenn da was hier ist. Oh! Willow! Ah! Haha! Ha. Another one! Go find your own grave, you rotten fool! Windle? Windle? Gad! That's my private name. Ah, oh, you still remember, lad? Oh, great days they were, great days. Life? Pfft, you don't know what life is until you're dead. It was great, all that breathing and walking around in the fresh air. Oh, I'll tell you, if I had my time all over again, I wouldn't reincarnate. So, uh, how are you adjusting then? Oh, I'll never get used to this grave, I'll tell you. The walls are so thin. All you can do here is lie around and listen to what the neighbours say. So... What's it like? Being dead, I mean. Oh, I've had enough of it. The hours are too long for a start. Here, keep the wretched dead and alive hole. Wait, what am I supposed to do with a grave? Use it as a small swim pool, huh? I can't swim. I never said you had to fill it with water, did I? Yikes and away! Right. Well, it looks like I have a real mission, then. I either restore death to his rightful place, or else we'll be up to our armpits in gaunt, dark-eyed young gothic girls dressed in black, all pretending that they can quote romantic poetry. <laughs> Actually, that doesn't sound bad at all. Nah. Onward! Das Besondere an Zauberer, Zauberer äh, wissen, wann sie sterben und sie können den Tod sehen. Ja, 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 ich erzähle dann doch was. A slab, aha, mounted beneath the coffin. A sort of primitive anti-gravity system. Oh, another coffin. You know, I think I'm really getting the hang of this object identification thing. Oh, another coffin. You know, I think I'm really getting the hang of this object identification thing. The coffin is mega. This is glass would be interesting. I can't reach it from here. There's nothing I could do would move it. Okay, this is your mix. Oh, ja, Ausgang. Er hat auch ein eigenes Inventar. My money pouch, overflowing with a fast wealth of gold coins. Well, when I say overflowing, more of a slow trickle, really. And vast wealth is a purely subjective phrase. And when I say gold, more gold-ish than gold, I guess. Oh, all right. I have a few copper coins. Are you satisfied now? Yep. A slab, aha, mounted beneath the coffin. A sort of primitive anti-gravity system. Oh, 
Honestly, some people. <laughs> Give them a tool and they spend the next ten years of their life just playing with it. Doesn't anyone else around here have any sense of stability? Of aims and goals? A sensible grip on life? Hey, that tickles. <laughs> Das ist bestimmt früher auch schon gerne gemacht. Oh, you handsome little sea weevil, you. Äh, hier ist nichts mehr. Wendell ist gegangen. Vielleicht hätte ich noch weiter reden können. Schade. Schade. Und die sieht so, Frau Jester, lassen wir mal zurück. Oh! Ja, mal hier. Spitzhacke mit vier. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Tschüss. Und dann haben wir hier die Docks. Oh, die sind damals auch schon Docks. Wie sieht's denn da aus? Was ist das? A clown's hooter. Now I can blow my own horn at last. Servus. Great gods, you two again. No, oh, chucky, chucky, chucky. But you're dead. You quit life stage. You're resting. Chucky wants to be the ghost of old York's past. Being dead is grand. Look, we even get flowers. Oh, chucky, chucky, chucky. Now look. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cohen. Cohen who? Cohen, answer the door. No, oh, chucky, chucky, chuck, 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 chuck. Why is it everyone else toddles off to heaven or hell and you two get to hang around here? Chucky, 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 chuck, chuck, chuck. I'm stuck. Stuck, stuck, stucky. You can't leave. I mean, you're dead, but not gone before. You're haunting. No, death hasn't come for us yet. Left us floating here, he did. Chucky can't leave the guild all stones and mortar. Not even for Sures. Sures? What's yours? Oh, a pint of lager and roast boar crisp, thanks. Oh, Chucky, 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 Chucky. You're right. You are the ghost of old jokes. <laughs> oh, no. If we had to have a character from the past, what happened to that nice Amazon lady? Maybe I can throw his haunted rocks into the middle of a sewer or something. Let's see him laugh that one off. Bye. Let's just stop all this now. Oh, Chucky, 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 Chucky. Da hat er schon Hinweis gegeben. Oh, oh, Chucky, Chucky. A house brick? Hmm, nice heft. Good aerodynamics. There's nothing quite like a good solid brick to bring out the artist in a man. Now pay attention. Hmm. Attention, yes. You said that you have to haunt the stones and mortar of the guild. Guild, yes. Well, is there any reason why you have to stay here? I mean, if the stones are moved, then you can move with them. You could just hop into one of the rocks, and I could take you somewhere more interesting. Interesting, yes. Are you listening to me? No! Ho oh, ho! Oh, oh. <laughs> chucky, 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 chucky! Just get into the damn stone! Ho oh, oh. ho! Chucky, chucky, chucky! Jetzt habe ich einen. Besessenen Stein. Das sieht nicht glücklich aus. Inside it? No way! Nobody's ever interfered with the luggage and lived to tell about it. <laughs> das stimmt. Ich glaube, der hat in manchen Büchern schon Leute gefressen. Pork Futures. Probably no other world in the multiverse has warehouses for things which only exist in potential. Here, however, 
The Pork Futures Warehouse is a product of the patricians' rules about baseless metaphors, the literal mindedness of citizens who assume that everything must exist somewhere and the general thinness of reality around a bank. The net result is that trading in pork futures, in pork that doesn't exist yet, led to the building of the warehouse to store it until it does. The extremely low temperatures are caused by the imbalance in the temporal energy flow. I hope this ice isn't made from that river water outside. Nah, it can't be, it's the wrong colour. The image of pork that may exist sometime in the future. Nothing like thinking ahead, I suppose. What? Pick up something that doesn't exist yet? Warum nicht? Hängt doch da. Well, I doubt whether I can move it by hand. Aber dafür die Spitzhacke? There's a place you're always welcome. That's as nice as it can be. Everyone can get in. Cause it's absolutely free.